So where are we going? To go see sled dogs. Yes! Good grief, that took a lot. It's mine. On the last episode, we had a blast with Elf Jingles and Sugar Plum and visiting with Santa. And on this episode, we go dog sledding and I learn how to make my new favorite drink. Then we get a lesson in photography and videography while chasing the northern lights. Mom, what are we doing? We are going to go on a husky ride. I think that we can also buy treats for the huskies so we can feed them later. Um, so I think we'll do that. Does that sound good? Yeah. Listen, how excited are you? Pretty excited. All right, go. Ah! <laughs> Come on, Mom. 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 <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Hold on, let me see you. One sec, I can exact some revenge. She got you in the nose. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, little history, very short history. Uh, this thing is called troll cart. It's invented in Norway. In the Scandinavia, there is uh, one thing called every man's right where you can easy way how to explain it if i own a forest somewhere in finland everyone else can come in my forest pick berries pick mushrooms i can go to someone else's forest do the same thing however there are some limitations i cannot make fire i cannot move in into the forest i'm also not allowed to drive a motor vehicle in the private property in that forest so uh, the dog trainers in norway they found a way around this thing doesn't have an engine and they can go train their dogs on the private property with this uh, fine thing over here. So rule number one, we never let this thing go. Rule number two, we use the brakes. How do we use them? We pump them. Rule number three, we actually have fun in this whole thing. <laughs> so well, they want to run. That's why they're like this. So we had dogs like this and that's all they wanted to do is run. I mean, they just love this. They, you might think that they're not happy, but they're, they're, you might think that they're upset, but they're really happy right now. This is all they want to do. And so River wants to give the cats away and and get some sled dogs. Okay, so I think that sounds perfectly reasonable. Yeah, so we give the cats a uh, camera. Great. Jeff, Jeff, if you can hear me, you're getting some cats. Probably. <laughs> trying to chew through it. <laughs> he keeps pulling on the green line because he's messing with the dog, see? While the first group got to go on their husky ride, we went and toured the facilities and learned how these animals are kept and trained. And then we got to play with some really cute puppies and help with the training process. <laughs> how are you? Are you pretty? Are you pretty? Because when we are letting these guys out, they will be all over the place. We don't want that. We want the puppies only with us when they are caught. Also, hold on to your hats, gloves, everything, because they will grab everything. Good. There you go. There they you go. Yeah, and they want to go out <laughs> even if they are dead tired. But they figure it out only after, I don't know, first kilometer. Actually, I don't want to run. I'm tired. But they have this excitement that they always want to go. Make him roll over. And sometimes no, when you need to take one good. dog out of the house, other one is staying. So we are kind of trying to learn, teach them already at this stage when they are coming. You just look at my hand because he knows the treats are in there, huh? There. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Well, that's, um, that's all. Is it too cold? What do you think of the dog? There you go. Yeah. 
Yeah. Which way about? Couldn't meet her today. What did you think? Cold. Cold? What did you think of the dog? Good. Yeah. Always see him. Think he's a fine son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to find a spot to go down. Oh, I'm going to sit with you. Is that cool? Oh, my God. Ready. Ready? Desmond. Desmond? Yeah. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. Go, 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 go. At least he warmed up the <laughs> lake. Let's go. Come on, dog. Good slowing down. Hey. Come on, puppies. Go, go. Go, go. Come on. Go, go. There we go. There we go. Come on, puppies. Go, go. Where are you from? Uh, Montana. Montana? Wow. Well, we, Where did you go? Well, we live in Saudi Arabia. First time for you for snow? No. No, you don't. Do, do you get snow there? No. no. Well, yes, we do. It's familiar. Right. Saudi Arabia, no snow. Okay. The only types of weather we ever get there is sun and sandstorm. <laughs> you know, dog I have dog slime. I have dog slime all over my hands. So this is a girl right here. Just hold your hand out. I'll give him some. There you go. Yeah, you're gonna get slime on your hands. <laughs> give it to whatever you want. <laughs> uh, they probably don't sit on me. And they don't speak English. They do speak all like I speak English. <laughs> they speak Finnish mostly, but then English of course because I'm the handler for those. So they know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they know and these dogs over there, they, like we have uh, bear and husky dogs, and then there's Emmy. Uh, she brings uh, 30 of her dogs to help out so that the other ones get enough rest. So these two teams are from her. And um, these dogs speak all languages. So we have Germans here, we have uh, Dutch people here, we have Finnish people, so they speak like. They are very multilingual <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> <laughs> multilingual. I like it. Thank you. It was really hard to say goodbye to such adorable puppies, but we were starving. So we headed to our favorite restaurant again, and River played <laughs> pinball for the very first time. Would you rather have a burger or a pizza? Ooh! You're gonna make me the Arctic Bilberry. Exactly. And voila! Super good. It's Bilberry, which I had never heard of before, and um, lime, so it has a really nice kind of like Heart flavor, lime flavor, and then this garnish is like a fruit roll-up kind of garnish, and it's so good. And it's just, it's a really cute little, cute little drink. Hey honey, tell us, what are we doing? All right, so tonight we are going to do some Nodal Lights hunting. Very exciting, don't yes. know how it's gonna go. But I'm ready. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, like let's it. go. Right. It's so cloudy, like, ah, I don't know how it's going <laughs> to go. It is pretty abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little cloudy. <laughs> let's go. Get in the car. Okay. Let's see. forgot me. Woe is me, Eeyore. Woe is me. Okay, so welcome to Hunt the Northern Lights. Um, my name is Yuhani, and if it's difficult to remember, just imagine I like honey. Uh, so my name comes from Latin name Johannes, and then turns to Yuhani, which is one of the most 
common first names in Finland. And this is my hometown, so nice to have you here. This is your hometown? Yes, born and raised. Nice. You have to be a little bit crazy to live here. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I mean, uh, this is a rather small city, only 64,000 people, right at the Arctic Circle, mostly known for Santa Claus, um, but also for the Northern Lights. So this is one of the main attractions here in, in, in Northern Finland. I am addicted to the Northern Lights and hopefully you are also going to be after tonight. Mm -hmm. There are three things we need to see the Northern Lights. Ready. Darkness, clear sky, solar wind. Our first stop was along the highway where we learned how to do a time-lapse video. Um, so you control it by this knob. Okay. Counterclockwise it releases. And then, yeah, it turns yeah. It. yeah. So shot intervals on. So now um, we should first try to find a good picture just by the good exposure. And then, oh, okay, so it's already now shooting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, helicopter pilot. You can keep a multi million dollar machine in the air with human lives on, on board. Camera, the camera. Stop. Camera, stop. Stop. camera, camera stop. kicks your ass. So far. Well, I mean, it's. It's so basically simple, but it's so insanely complicated at the same time, which is the best yeah. way to play. Did you all, is it already ready now? Yeah, it's kind of running too. 78? Uh, okay, that's good. Yep. We're at Oka Lake. Please don't fall in. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. So welcome to the first location. It's very dark in here, so you can't see anything around me. But lucky for you, there is nothing to be seen because it's very cloudy. Uh, unfortunately, the weather is a bit of a trouble, but we are not giving up. At least I'm not giving up. No way. Uh, so we'll we'll see what's going to happen. We are right here at the frozen lake, and this would be already a good place to see the northern lights because it's very dark. And uh, it's also quite a beautiful place to be honest. But right now, nothing to see here, so I think we are going to jump back to the car and continue. Moving on to the next spot. Yeah. I like it. That's good juice. What is it? Is it like it's like a cider? Berries and apple. Berries and apple. Like which berry? There's a lot of berries up here. Yeah, a lot of berries. <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm Are you learning anything? Yeah. Yeah. So I have three kinds of sausages: uh, meat sausage, uh, chicken sausage, or a vegetarian sausage. <laughs> okay. If you feed me vegetarian sausage, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> so to me. <laughs> Whenever they go fishing, hunting, digging berries. Or when they're starving to death and there's nothing to eat because it's a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Especially that. Did you, there was a there was a hurricane thing in Florida and you know they and they, they raid Florida. They strip all the grocery stores oh, empty. Wow. Yeah, it's it's what happens every time a hurricane goes through, and the whole grocery store is empty. And there was the vegan section. Ah. It was it was completely untouched. <laughs> I mean, there wasn't a single thing. <laughs> like I would rather die. Then we attach it to the sausage stick. Magic. Oh well, that's fancy. That's magic. I need one of those. Curved sausage stick so it doesn't fall off into the. Right. Oh, your sausage is touching me. Ew.
so many jokes. Yeah. <laughs> so much sarcasm in our life. <laughs> we are not appropriate human beings. Good? For sure. Burn it. You burn the outside and then you take the crispy off. Really? Yep. Oh, yeah. Burn it. Just cool it off and up. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, the clouds are green. That's not very common. Um, one would think maybe that the aliens are coming, but we know better that it's the you know the lights are going crazy behind the clouds. In a way it's very sad because we would like to see it and capture it, but this is the way it is sometimes. Um, and on your app it shows that there's just a ton of activity. It's just because mm. we have cloud cover, we don't really get to see yeah the activity but in the pictures that we're taking we do get to see the activity it's just our human eye can't see it yeah true right? yeah true um the closest place with the clear sky seems to be about seven hours drive away so Psh, too far away from us unfortunately bit. what'd you think it's pretty cool yeah i mean we didn't see northern lights but i learned a lot about the camera learned a lot about night shots yeah learned a lot about setup and how to take care of things and how to mess with other things. So it was a good time. Just got to see some green clouds. That, that was so cool. You can't see them with your naked eye, but when you take the picture, you can you can see it in the picture. So that was definitely cool. Got to show a Finnish guy the proper way to eat a marshmallow. True, true story. No, it was good. I thought that was, um, I'm, the kids didn't go with us. They actually stayed here in the hotel. Um, which I'm kind of glad that they didn't necessarily, it, wasn't, it wouldn't have been their cup of tea. You it know, was we, cold. It was, it was chilly, like my toes were a little cold, but you know, it was, it was educational for adults, not for kids. Like I don't, I don't think they would have enjoyed it at all. Now we know how to use the camera a little bit more. Yep. Okay, you know how to use the camera a little bit more. Maybe we'll get some better shots for everybody out there. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to learn, right? We're just trying to get better for everybody and learn a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna drink a glass of wine and go to bed. For sure. On the next episode, we learn to fly our drone in Rovanemi, and then we make our way to Helsinki for 10 days. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and then head over to Patreon where you can support us even further. And we'll see you next time.